I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on continuity of function. The question here is, identify the discontinuities of the following function, if any. So there is a piecewise function. We have four different pieces. f of x equals to 1 minus absolute value of x when x is between minus 1 and plus 1, both included. Minus 1 plus absolute value of x when it is between minus 2 and minus 1, both included or it is greater than 1 less than equal to 2 or it is equals to x minus 3 whole square where x is greater than 2 less than infinity that means x is greater than 2 and is equals to x plus 3 whole square when x is less than minus 2 so in the entire domain we have a piecewise function joined with four different pieces and we need to check whether this function is continuous or not and if it is discontinuous what are the points at which it is discontinuous you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion so what we will do here is each piece in in itself is actually continuous right so we know it's combination of a constant and absolute function or it's a parabola quadratic function all these pieces are continuous in their own domain but do they have same value at the point where they overlap if they have if they overlap then they are continuous if they don't then they have jump discontinuity so that is what we are going to explore so let's begin by calculating the value of the function at these intervals so let's begin with the very first one and find the value of the function or we can find the limit of the function as x approaches the given value from uh, from either side okay so let's find limit at minus 1 for this particular function so we can calculate the limit as x approaches minus 1 from left side so if I say minus 1 from left side then for the value of f of x then the value of the function will be since minus 1 is included here and we have this function which is from minus 2 to minus 1 we have to consider minus 1 plus absolute x correct so, so we'll consider this particular function and find its limit when the function is approaching minus 1 from minus 1 side so it is limit x approaches minus 1 from minus 1 off so it is within the second piece which is minus 1 plus absolute value of x now here if I substitute minus 1 what do I get I get minus 1 and minus 1 absolute value will be plus so I get plus 1 so we get limit as 0 right now let us find the limit of the function as x approaches minus 1 from positive side right so when it approaches from the positive side we are actually dealing with the first piece which is 1 minus absolute x so we get limit minus 1 from positive side so you have to write 1 minus absolute value of x now here if I substitute minus 1 what do I get I get 1 minus absolute value of minus 1 is plus 1 so so we get 1 itself so I get 0 so this limit is also 0 since both the limits are same we get the value of 0 at this point correct second now at this point let us also find what is the value of the function at minus 1 since this point happens to be in the first leg we find that the value of the function at minus 1 here is f of minus 1 equals to if I substitute I get 1 minus 1 which is 0 now since limit at x approaches minus 1 is equals to the value of function at minus 1 we know it is continuous both are all are 0 we know it is continuous at 0 you got the idea correct now you need to do the same exercise for minus 2 and 2 these could be the points where there could be a discontinuity so find the limit of these functions as it approaches minus 2 from left side and right side and find the value of the function at minus 2 you will get the same thing if you get the same thing it is continuous you get the point so likewise you have to check 
at at x equals to minus 1 x equals to minus 2 at plus 1 and at plus 2 so at these four points you should check and figure out whether it is continuous or not so that is one part what I will do here is meanwhile I'll try to sketch this function here to show you whether it is continuous or not so what we will do here is let's say this is our coordinate plane but do these values okay I've shown you the method of doing it so what we will do here is we'll consider the four pieces one piece is defined from minus 1 to plus 1 okay let's say this is minus 1 plus 1 then we have minus 2 let's say minus 2 so we'll kind of sketch the function once you sketch you'll get better idea about the function itself so the first piece here is 1 minus absolute x between minus 1 and plus 1 both included so if I write minus 1 here what do I get f of minus 1 will be 1 minus 1 0 so here we get 0 if I write plus 1 here 1 minus plus 1 is also 0 so I get 0 here now in between we have 0 so which is in that domain so I can calculate the value at 0 also so what I did here is I calculate value of f of minus 1 equals to 0 f of 0 if I substitute 0 here I get 1 and then I calculate f of plus 1 which is 0 so at 0 I got 1 so this is my point since this function is continuous in this domain I am connecting them with with a straight line so that is how this absolute function is correct reflected and translated one unit up correct so that is how it is now let's look into the second piece which is from uh, minus 1 to uh, minus 2 to minus 1 so which is from minus from this point <coughs> to this point <coughs> if I substitute minus 2 here what do I get if I substitute minus 2, well, this bracket should not be closed because we have already closed it there, right? So, let's open it. Okay. So, if I do minus 2 here, absolute value of minus 2 is 2. Minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1. So, at this point, we get plus 1. So, we have a point here. So, I'm saying f of minus 2 equals to 1. Now, let us calculate what is f of minus 1 here is right so f of minus 1 which I'll denote by open bracket will be minus 1 plus 1 as 0 so it will be kind of here right so that becomes a straight line so when I join them I get this kind of a function since this open circle maps with the closed circle of the previous function which we calculated it is continuous at this point correct so at minus 1 we found it to be 0 let us consider the right side between 1 and 2 so if I write 1 here with an open hole I should get 0 so that likewise you get a hole here right and then if I write 2 then minus 1 plus 2 gives me 1 so it's a closed end and that is my graph for the second piece now let's look into the parabola which is from 2 to infinity so it is x minus 3 whole square so if I write 2 here 2 minus 3 is minus 1 minus 1 square is 1 right so so at 2 we get a value 1 and since it is not included I have to put a hole right but it maps with the the filled in circle of the previous function as a parabola if I write values greater than 2 let us say 3 then at 3 what is the value 3 minus 3 is 0 so at 3 I get 0 so we get a value which is kind of like this and after 3 it is going to increase like this right at 4 it is going to be same as 1 correct so likewise we get a parabola from here which will have 0 value at 3 right so these are our points 1 2 and 3 and so on on this side let's say minus 3 so we get this third part of the function which is kind of a parabola right let us see the last leg in this particular case x plus 3 whole square if I substitute minus 2 there will be a hole at at which point this is at minus 2 plus 3 is minus 1 whole square so we have a hole here right 
and if I write minus 3, I get a 0, minus 3 plus 3. So that could be drawn like a parabola like this. Clearly from this diagram, you can see that all these holes match with the filled in circle. Do you see that? And therefore, the function is continuous in its domain, right? From, for all values, it is function because all the open circles are overlapping the closed circles. So in this particular function, you will see that there are no discontinuities, right? So you can write no discontinuities. Correct? Okay. So no discontinuities in this particular function. So the way to prove it is find limit as x approaches minus 1 from both sides, minus 2 from both sides, plus 1 and min plus 2 from both sides, right? And also sketch and show your result. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.